Oh, yeah. Um, I wanted to uh, share an idea I had um, about um, priests and nuns. Um, basically, at the moment, uh, if you're a Church of England vicar, you can join the Roman Catholic Church by uh, uh, and still be married. Um, I think there's a shortage of priests at the moment, so uh, uh, a lot of, well, quite a, a number, I don't know how many actually, but of, um, certainly some um, Church of England vicars are moving over to be Catholic priests. And as a consequence as well, um, they're still remaining married, which is fair enough. I mean, it'd be a bit unfair if uh, they wanted to become a priest and they weren't allowed to keep by their, their wedding vows. So it just struck me that it was a bit unfair about the, the priests and the nuns who are expected to vow that they'll never marry if they're allowing people to be priests who are married already. It just seemed a bit rough on them, really. So my idea was that um, that it, the Pope, I don't know if it be his decision or something like that, but um, certainly if I was Pope, for I wouldn't want to be Pope for very long, maybe only a few minutes, um, that the priests and nuns shouldn't make a vow never to marry. But as an alternative, just every day say to the wonderful Lord, um, maybe by showing a sign, putting the thumbs up, dear God, I'm not going to get married today. And and the, the, thing, the thing would be that um, it might turn out that they, they might never marry for years and years, actually, because they might never make, meet somebody that they want to marry. But... One day when they do meet, um, you know, Marjorie or Wilfred or, you know, whichever the person is, um, they'll be free then um, because they've just put the thumbs up every day saying, not going to marry today, Lord. They'll be free to, to marry at that point, uh, which I think would be fair on them, really, because um, they've served God as a single person for all those years. And... Um, and why shouldn't they get married, really? Because it's just the same as uh, a married uh, Anglican uh, minister become a, becoming a Roman Catholic uh, priest. So I just feel that adjustment, I mean, it might be good if they have some other adjustments as well, but uh, that if I was a Pope for a short time, I think that's something I'd change, and I think it would be fair and good, and it would fit also in with the scriptures because as far as I understand the scriptures say that if you want to get married you should get married uh, as a believer in the Lord but if you are prepared to be single uh, that is also a wonderful decision so so um, but you might uh, it might be that you decide to be a single person uh, and then after a few years, you meet somebody that you you love and want to marry, and they to take the pressure away with that having to break a vow and all that kind of thing, which is um, yeah, because I mean it also says in the scripture, let your yes be yes and your no be no, so it doesn't seem to me like a a vow is necessarily a good thing, but because God can God can make a vow and and no one hundred percent is going to keep it. But um, but as for humans um, and our weaknesses, you know, by the grace of God, he allows us to do good and help in the world sort of thing, but it's only by his grace. So that's the proposal anyway, basically. And uh, this is my uh, first video on this particular platform, and I hope to do some more. All the best, and bye.